Lesson 23. En esta lección, en esta lección estaremos, estaremos estudiando, estudiando el tiempo, el tiempo coronal. coronal. Que en inglés, en inglés se, conoce se conoce como wood. 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 Lo que, lo que en español es eh, ría, o más bien, lo que termina de la parte del verbo con ría. Come, que quiere decir venga o ven. Por ejemplo, lo traducimos literalmente es ven o venga pero si pero si nosotros le anteponemos to al verbo come este to hace o convierte a este verbo infinitivo y se llama el verbo infinitivo esto lo hemos visto en las lecciones anteriores Por ejemplo, si nosotros decimos to come, estamos diciendo venir. I come, yo vengo. Que normalmente lo decimos en español vengo. Omitiendo la partícula eh, del pronombre personal y esto puede ocurrir en cualquiera de las personas el, hablando de los pronombres you come o he comes lo podemos decir el viene vienes vienen pero en inglés no ocurre esto por lo tanto debemos siempre usar los pronombres personales Si nosotros anteponemos al verbo would y decimos I would come, yo vendría. Yo sé que ustedes recuerdan que si nosotros anteponemos al verbo will, lo convertimos este verbo o lo conjugamos en tiempo futuro. Si yo digo, I will come, yo vendré. De la misma manera funciona, solamente que cambia el significado de la palabra al español cuando nosotros anteponemos would. Si nosotros usamos el verbo let, let significa deja o deje de, la, de igual manera con todos los verbos hacemos to let dejar I would let yo dejaría you would let tú dejarías he would let él dejaría y lo conjugamos de esta misma manera para que podamos saber que es dejaría lo que yo les decía, termina en ría en el español. I would go. They would go. Yo iría. Ellos irían. To travel. To travel. Viajar. We would travel nosotros viajaríamos to put poner he would put pondría él pondría Esos son ejemplos eh, que quiero ir dando con lo que son los verbos básicos. 
and I know uh, pretty good that you already know and remember you already have uh, memorized each of these uh, uh, basic uh, verbs and one of the verbs that we uh, use a lot is take and you remember how to conjugate this verb I take you take but in this case we will add up the word would and we will say I would take give remember if it would say to give means dar but if we say they give ellos dan if we use we give nosotros damos but if we say we would give nosotros daríamos same thing will happen if we add up get to get conseguir if we use the verb uh, and the pronoun to the verb we will uh, uh, say that thing in the uh, person we use we use she gets ella consigue but if we add would we would get they would get you would get and it's the same for each verb lo mismo para cada verbo keep I would keep you would keep they would keep we would keep same thing lo mismo recuerde mantener keep to keep, mantener. I would keep, yo mantendría. Make. Make. Hago o hace. Pero to make, hacer. I would make, yo haría. Do. Hacer, ya hemos hablado en las lecciones anteriores la diferencia de do y make. Si no lo saben, les aconsejo que retrocedan un poco a las lecciones anteriores y le den una repasada. It's very important that you learn and that you memorize and remember each of these verbs because otherwise you won't be able to speak or have a real conversation in English. Sim, parece. To sim, parecer. It would sim, parecería. It would sim, parecería. Say, to say, decir. It would say diría tell to tell decir she would tell ella diría en las lecciones anteriores también hemos explicado la diferencia de to say y to tell ya que ambos significan igual, decir. So it's very important to go back on each lesson and uh, repeat uh, until you have learned it completely. You should be able uh, to memorize it and uh, to understand it each time that you either read it or that you hear it. If you listen to any of these words, you should be able to understand it. To see. See, to see, I would see, you would see. Ver, 
Tvería. Sent. I would send. I think uh, by this time you already have the idea what this is all about. But I want to make sure that you understand it to the point to have a conversation. It's very important for me that you speak, that you repeat each time that you see, that you read any words or that we are uh, on the front of the computer that you uh, can be able to either read or listen and understand. So that's why I recommend you to listen and repeat each time. Spend. You would spend. Tu gastarías. Speak. They would speak. Hablaría. Be. To be. Ser o estar. We would be. Estaríamos. O nosotros estaríamos. Have. To have. Haber o tener. They would have. They would have. Ellos tendrían o ellos habrían. The end. We have got to the end of this uh, lesson. Yeah, I hope that you have uh, understood. If you haven't uh, understood uh, most of the lesson or you don't get the point of what these things are, uh, I uh, like you to leave a, a message and write a, a, a simple and a short message uh, either under this video or you can either send me a uh, private uh, uh, email or leave it as a private message in YouTube. All it depends on what are your concerns. We are here to help you and it's uh, free. And like I said in the uh, uh, other lessons, that we are offering our manual where you find the pronunciation of each word. I recommend you to keep studying each lesson and to keep uh, on going with this course. And our idea is for you to speak English. If you are not in a country where they speak English, you can practice with us or you can try to find a place where you can uh, uh, keep uh, listening and repeating uh, uh, all the videos or uh, like in the, le in the past lesson, in the future lesson, I recommend you to uh, listen to uh, songs in English with the subtitle and I recommend you to watch movies, to watch cartoons and all these things will help you to improve. So I hope you guys do enjoy it and uh, if, if like my video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it. Hazte este fan de, de cada uno cada de los videos, videos suscribiéndote, suscribiéndote a este, a este canal, canal o simplemente, simplemente siguiéndonos, siguiéndonos en, la red, en las redes sociales, sociales Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter o Gmail. Visita nuestra página, página inglés, inglés hipnótico.web.com. Adquiere, adquiere el curso completo. completo. Question. Would you like to watch a movie with me? Because in this lesson, we're going to learn English by watching a movie. Actually, this is another, another movie. ¿Se acuerdan de la palabra another? Otra, otra.